So sometimes when you're working with fans, you salvage data systems. They might not work, and they previously worked. Well, the problem is, and I don't know why, but some fan uh, fans that are in maybe a firewall or a switch or whatever the case may be have the polarity wrong. So this one here, I actually already rewired, but um, now this one has the correct wiring where the red's in the middle, black is on one side and yellow is on the other. I guess I don't really know what pen is what number. I don't think these are labeled either. So this is the side without the little thing sticking out. And uh, basically that's the order I have it in because that's the correct order for standard PCs. But uh, yeah, so basically they were wi are wired for reverse polarity. And I'll see if I can do this on camera. But the fix is simple. You'll need something pokey. In this case, I'm using a paper clip. And if you look really carefully towards the top of the uh, wires where they go in, there's a little locking tab sticking out. So what you'll do is you'll put some tension on the wire and then you'll push down on that locking tab. Yeah. I might need a smaller paper clip. This one's kind of big. Let's see if uh, I can zoom in a little more. So basically I'm pulling on the wire between some fingers and then uh, putting pressure on the connector. And you just find that pin And you want to, let's see here, I think I need to find something with a little bit more of a point to it. Alright, this has a more of a point to it. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can push that pin down and pull it out. These are kind of springy, so you can either push them down to the point where they won't spring back up far enough, where you can pull tension on them. The other one I had to pull tension on. This one's being really stubborn. So I think this one's not quite so springy. I think this one's more stiff. So basically, you gotta put push those locking tabs down and then pull the wires out. Let's see if this one will come out. Ah, oh, shoot. I was hoping to do this on camera. <laughs> So I'm zoomed in so far. There we go. So what you might have to do this. This one's being really stubborn. The other one went, went real easy. Went, of course, everything's harder on camera. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Yeah, it looks like this one's not as springy. So I think it's just a matter of pushing it down, basically, and pulling it out. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera just so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, I think I got it. Nope. <laughs> I'll just show you what the one I already did looks like. So this is a little crimp pin and there's a locking tab right there. If you get it out you may have to lift it back up so it'll go back in properly and lock. So you can just kind of go under it with your fingernail and gently pull up on it until it uh, is lifted up again like that. And then uh, once you get it done you can just take the pin and push it back in the correct slot. This isn't the correct slot, so I'm not going to push it on the way, but I will do that here in just a second. Alright, so I got the wire as loose as you can see now. Um, it was really tricky. I don't know why these are more stubborn than the other ones I did, but um, basically you can see I got the locking tab sticking back up. And now I just got to put them back in the order that matches this, which basically is easy because red goes in the middle. You want to have the uh, big springy part 
pointing the direction that these little flaps are here. So in my case, it's down. And you just push it in like this till it goes click. It should stay in place. Same deal here, the little springer, springy part there. Have that pointing down. And then once it clicks into place, it should be good. And then, yeah, that's, uh, that's just what you need to do to fix the fan. And, you know, if you need to do the inverse where you need the uh, red wire to be on this outside and the black wire to be in the middle, same deal. Just you poke the lo locking tabs down until you get to the point where you can back the wire out. You don't want to force it out because if you try forcing it out, what will happen is you either bust the locking tab off, which is not great, or you'll pull the wire out of the crimp. So not the most concise video, but hopefully that was helpful and thanks for watching.